the SEBI confirmatory order versus Z ent Entertainment uh, and that order is just out. Uh, the key gist of it, SEBI investigation shall be completed within a period of eight months. The order goes on to say that restrictions imposed on the Goenkas are reasonable. They have barred, SEBI has barred Puneet Goenka to hold the CEO position in the merged entity till the final outcome of the proceedings. And Subhash Chandra Puneet Goenka will not be allowed to hold director positions in Z Entertainment, Z Media, Z Studios and Z Akash News. Ankur Mishra, my colleague, is joining me with more details on this story and he's got that uh, SEBI order details. Ankur, this is very important coming in light of new news on the Z-Sony merger just a couple of days ago where NCRT gave the final note for the merger. Yes, definitely. And I want to draw your attention to the wordings of the order. It is a confirmatory order. It is not a final order which has been passed by SEBI. The expectation was that SEBI will pass the final order against uh, Now this means that whatever was said in the interim order, meaning uh, banning Subhan Chandra as well as Puneet Goenka in holding any of the position in any listed company. Now that stays and there has been reasons uh, which has been highlighted in this order. Uh, the order says that they have heard on the side of uh, Puneet Goenka as well as Subhan Chandra. However, they find that the kind of allegations which are there, therefore, they, do, they should not hold position in any of the listed companies. Uh, in fact, they have specified in the order that the uh, uh, entity number one and two, that means uh, Subhash Chandra and Puneet Goenka, uh, cannot hold director position in, uh, in Z Entertainment, Z Media, Z Studio, as well as Z Akash News. The, the whole proceedings uh, will continue till eight months. Uh, that is the time period which has been specified in this order. And this order is passed by none other than uh, Sebi chairperson Marbi Puri Bhut herself. Remember at ET now, we had reported that the final order will come from SEBI chairperson herself as she was hearing the case after uh, there were certain directions which had been, which had been passed by security appellate tribunal uh, which said that the early uh, whole time member who heard the case may have some biasness in the case and now this confirmatory order is coming from SEBI chairperson. This will have implications on Z Sony merger as well as Puneet Goenka was supposed to be uh, the CEO of the merged entity but now after this order till the time final outcome is there from SEBI there is bar on Puneet Goenka. Okay. So in terms of the actual process of the merger Ankur that stays untouched. It's only about the role of Subhash Chandra and Puneet Goenka in this merged entity, isn't it? Which is at stake here. Yes, definitely. This order only says that uh, Puneet Goenka cannot hold that position uh, in the merged entity. No comment on merger because merger was separately uh, approved by NCLT uh, and it was a different court. Uh, they, although there was a mention of uh, uh, the two directors uh, who are holding position at various group levels. Uh, but uh, you remember uh, the arguments that were made uh, by the counsel of Puneet Goenka in, in the court. It clearly said that uh, it clearly said that merger should go through uh, whether or not Puneet Goenka remains CEO. In fact, at Z Entertainment also there is a, a committee which is looking after day-to-day -day proceedings, and uh, Puneet Goenka is not uh, involved after CB's interim order. So that has been effect uh, in uh, the entertainment already. But now this order will have implications on other companies as well, which uh, which includes the media and other companies which are stated in the order. But as far as the Z Sony merger is concerned, as of now, that is approved. But all will depend on the dissenting parties, whether or not they approach any higher court and if, if uh, there is any further hearing or legal tangles in the matter.